do you really think that you know everything that is happening behind the scenes with you and your specific person, right? Like seriously, what do you see in your reality right here, right now? I guarantee you that there are countless thousands, millions, billions, trillions of things happening behind the scenes, pushing you and your specific person together. And I know on the surface, that seems so hard to believe, but really we're constantly living our day-to-day life in this way. And the reason we ever have anxiety or worry about things happening behind the scenes or if we're actually receiving our manifestation, right? Like the worry of, Is it actually coming to me or not? All stems from this idea that we start to worry what's happening behind the scenes. But think of going to a restaurant, right? Think of when you order your food, you wouldn't want to go back or go in the back and be like, hey, you're cooking my food, right? I need to witness you cooking my food. Otherwise, I'm having anxiety at the table as to whether you're making it or not. Right? That sounds absolutely bizarre. So then why do we do that to ourselves when we are manifesting our specific person, right? It, it just doesn't make sense. And I'm going to use a couple quotes and a couple success stories. I know I did two, a couple success stories that show exactly what I'm talking about. So the first quote, and you guys know I love quoting A Course in Miracles, is miracles are expressions of love. So manifestations, manifestations are expressions of love, but they may not always have observable effects. I'm actually reading from my little, I have a new um, little note thing that I saw at like Target. So I was like, hey, this might be pretty cool rather than just putting it on my iPad. So miracles or manifestations are expressions of love, but they may not always have observable effects. So think about that and think about how we actually interact with our reality and I want to ask you the question again. Do you really think you know everything that is happening behind the scenes? Because that's what we presume when we have anxiety about our specific person showing up. And I know it does feel kind of hard to or hard to get into the state not seeing the outcome or assuming as if you already have it and then asking yourself, well, how is it going to come to me? How is my specific person going to know that I've changed, right? But you need you need to have this trust in the same way that behind me, there's probably cars going. You might be on your way to work. Well, actually, I hope you're not watching this video while you're driving, but you may be on the bus, on the train, someone's driving you, maybe you're getting a manicure, getting your nails done, I don't know, whatever, massage, I don't know, you're probably not listening to this while getting a massage, but it might be really cool to do that, it might be super relaxing, but the, the idea is things are moving, did you witness the making of this video, no, do you need proof that I made this, do you need to watch me make every single video for you in order for you to believe it, You would say no, right? Things happen. There is a majority of everything that you're experiencing is actually happening outside of your conscious awareness, right? Because all your conscious awareness is just right here and right now, right in front of you. So in this case, there are not, I guarantee you, there's going to be so many things happening behind the scenes. A majority of everything, and I know this is hard to wrap our mind around, A majority of everything is going to be happening behind the scenes. That's just how it is. That's our reality. It makes it easy and effortless for us because then if you want something, you don't have to actively go out and get it. Things are just going to move around you to, to make it happen. Like the belief, and I know this is something that we, you guys probably think I'm hungry because I keep talking about food. But the concept that you can go to a restaurant or a fast food instantly right now and get food, that's like an instant manifestation, right? Or texting someone, calling someone, right? That's like an (laughs) instant manifestation. If you talk to someone who didn't know or have any of that, they'd be like, that's crazy. It's so fast. It's instantaneous. But we take it for granted because there's all of this stuff happening behind the scenes. So I know You might be asking, well, then how do we make that with our specific person? But then that comes in all belief. You have extreme intense belief 
of that thing happening. And actually, I'm going to start going into the success stories now because I feel like that's a, this is a good little transition. So the first one I'm going to pull up is there's two. And I just want to – they're all – behind the scenes sort of dealios. So the first one, I'll put it up right now. So this was sent to me. And they said, hey, hey, Kyle. I can't talk, apparently. can't no, actually read. I can talk. Hey, Kyle, I watched your video on changing the story. So I was hot. So it was hot and cold. She hadn't texted me back. They put a typo in there. It was hot and cold. She hadn't texted me back in 10 days. 10, if you were wondering. <laughs> and I just changed the story, like you said, and I said, oh, she's just been really busy. That's all. She wants to text me all the time. And she literally texted me moments after that video. And I think it's the video what they're talking about in which I mentioned you, if you persist in any idea, regardless of what is happening around you, you are going to see that outcome change instantaneously. Because as you persist in the unknown, it makes it known. Persist in the unreal, as Neville Goddard would say, until it is real. And it really can be. And I know you're still probably doubtful depending on whatever circumstance or situation you're in. But refusing, you have to refuse your external reality in order to get exactly what it is you want. So look at this or look at this person saying, 10 days, no contact, literally had the thought, Oh, I'm going to change it. I'm going to alter exactly or change my assumptions on it. And then instantly, moments after the video, gets a message from their specific person. And so that's just how powerful it is. Because think about the concept of things happening behind the scenes, right? So the 10 days are passing. What was our assumption? We make an assumption because a majority of everything, again, is happening behind the scenes. So we are making an assumption as to what is actually happening. So in this case, 10 days are passing, probably had the assumption, my specific person doesn't wanna reach out to me, right? They're ignoring me, they're this, they're that, right? That's probably the assumption that we had. But then by switching it, you make all of that time work for you rather than against you. Because everything, and this is a, if you guys know Dr. Joe Dispenza, this would be his sort of idea. Everything he mentions, everything, and I agree with this, everything that is unseen or outside of your awareness is in a quantum state, meaning that it can be whatever it is that you want. And this is actually, if you're a super logical person and you need some like total proof that this is the truth, this is quantum physics. So quantum physics state, things don't collapse until a reality, until it's observed. And that's like the double slit experiment. I think you guys know all about that. I won't go too into that because I, I don't think a lot of people, <laughs> like I think a lot of people like it. I love it. But sometimes it gets too in depth and it just confuses us and we don't need confusion. We just need assumptions, right? So Dr. Joe Dispenza would say anything that is behind the scenes is in a quantum state. And that's what physics, laws of physics say. So this individual for the past 10 days had this unknown in the quantum state because they were assuming maybe they didn't want to talk to them, collapsed into the outcome that they weren't talking to them. And I know I probably don't even need to go into all of this like in-depth logic because I know you already have this assumption, but it is really, really important because it explains why then when you change your assumption and persist in what you want, regardless of what is happening or just change whatever you're observing, you're going to see instant results. And again, it may not happen always, right? Because it depends on what assumptions we have. And because our bridge of events is always adding up and following that bridge or the assumptions. So if you change your assumption, it doesn't happen instantly. That's okay. Because we want to persist in that. Because even though this is a really, really awesome manifestation. And I've seen, I've gotten so many messages after that video I posted. Um, it's the one... Yeah, it's the car one. I think I keep referring to it because I remember saying in a previous video, the car video. In that, I've received so many extra responses about people 
Now I'm pointing it because it's not showing up. It's here for you. People doing this instantly after that video. And so you're like, okay, it makes sense. And just a quick little like support if you did not see the video because I want I want you to have the same results after this. I talk about your reality kind of being like a circle where you have the belief of something. It reflects on your external. And then when we perceive that external, it either supports our current belief or we can stop it right there and push into it. So this person was seeing the belief, my SP doesn't want to hang out with me, saw 10 days of no contact, but they had the choice. I can change the way I view this 10 days of no contact and she's just busy. And then boom, that then reflects in your reality. So you want to persist in that um, regardless of what is happening. And I do have other um, notes I know and another success story for you guys. So um, next quote, because I want to use, there's a, I just had a bunch of quotes today for this video. The next quote is also from A Course in Miracles, and it says, miracles or manifestations are examples of right thinking, aligning your perception with truth. So in this instance, and hopefully I remembered to leave the success story up when I edit the video, but if it's not. I'm talking about that previous, previous um, success story. That was an example of his right thinking, right? The thinking was correct because it aligned with what he wanted. So manifestations are examples of right thinking, aligning you with the perception of truth. And I have a video coming out soon that talks about how happiness is our proper state, but the truth is you have everything you could ever want. And A Course in Miracles, I love that book. It can be confusing. Talks about also, and you've heard me say this before as well, there, is no, there are no problems in our reality. It's all an illusion in the same way darkness is an illusion. So you being and receiving the love you want, that's more aligned with who you are than anything else. That is right thinking. You being happy, abundant, positive, successful, that's all right thinking. And I know the term wrong thinking, there is no like wrong thinking technically, but right thinking aligns you with who you are. Wrong thinking aligns you with who you aren't. And so that might be in this case, or this case, again, if it's, I hope I remember to keep it up. In that case, the wrong thinking is the assumption that our specific person would ignore us or not want to be with us or that we aren't allowed to receive the love that we want in our reality. That's a case of wrong thinking, right? So, but when you align it, when he said, what did he say again? Oh, she's just really busy. That aligned with the truth that SP, it created the assumption, SP does really want to hang out or see me, but they're just really busy. And that's okay, because think of love. Neville Goddard states, only the loving find love. So if we want to be loved, we have to give love to our reality. And what more loving than to properly respect someone's time, right? When you're married, that's what you're going to do. If they're busy, you would be there for them. You would help them, right? So why then, when they're busy now, do we totally <laughs> blow them off and throw them out the window, right? No, we would be there for them. We would be patient for them. That's the loving that finds love. And one more, maybe I'll go, I'll go into the second success story and then um, we'll... The second success story, and I'll go into my last quote that I have. I think that's the best way to do it. So here's another comment on one of my videos. And this one is kind of cool and showcasing again just how quickly things can change and like your manifestation can show up in your reality. So this person said, wait, I gotta, I gotta put it up first. So this person said, just a little thank you from the UK because today I experienced instant manifestation from focusing on not sabotaging my happiness. I was drying my hair in my desired state for my specific person, but dwelled in thoughts of my old SP, and then old SP sent me a message literally 10 seconds after, with over a year 
a year. The microphone's over there. So I'm a year of no contact. That, think about that. 10 seconds, they were in year, no contact. So let's just all take a moment <laughs> and think. Everyone, you are capable of doing this right here, right now. And so you could be saying right now, well, Kyle, that's not even their specific person. And I'd have to tell you, there's a reason for that. So whenever we are attempting to bring something in our reality, everything is a manifestation, right? Everything, literally everything. So whenever you encounter anything that pops up into your reality, that's an instant manifestation. And what do we feel are instant manifestations? And something that is an instant manifestation is something that you don't put any roadblocks against. It seems and feels really easy, right? Like it seems effortless. Like going to Chipotle and getting your burrito bowl, comment your favorite burrito bowl down uh, below what your ingredients are. Going to Chipotle and asking for food I know, sounds like I'm hungry. I keep using examples of food. And you get it 30 seconds later. That is a instant manifestation. I know it's really hard to combine those or to assume and know and come to this realization that everything is a manifestation, including your Chipotle bowl, yes. We don't usually think of it that way. But as soon as we quit the separation of my specific person is a manifestation, but everything else isn't you're going to see how easy it can be. So then in this case, you would say, well, Kyle, that's easy to manifest Chipotle or whatever because it seems so easy to me. That's why this person manifested the instant text from their old specific person just by a production of thoughts, okay? Really. And so the assumption was... I don't really care if this person reaches out, right? That's the assumption that we're having. And so what happens then when their specific person then reaches out, you find it happen literally instantaneously. And that's because, again, there's no barriers that we're putting up against it. How does it feel to manifest a message from some random person as compared to your specific person? And you're going to say, really different, right? Instantly you're thinking they're, they're two totally different sides to the same coin, right? But they're different massively, but they're not. And I know that sounds crazy again to think that again, this person, and I'm pointing over here because that's where I got it up on my iPad. This person could manifest the same text from their specific person just as easily, but it's that we feel and think that it's difficult as to why it's not showing up. So always keep that in mind that it is then just a shift in assumption and a change in who we are and what we believe that's going to cause a change. And still though, think of, I can't get over how quick and how long of a no contact this was because they were over a year. So we don't know. Well, I mean, it's less than two years, obviously, but over a year of no contact, thought of them, boom, they show up, they text them in their reality. And I know obviously this person probably doesn't want to manifest or bring this person to you, but it, I can't get over the fact or I want to really display how this can happen for you right now. And I will get, I will, <laughs> this is a guaranteed I will get a message from this video like this. I will get another message, multiple. I will get multiple messages like this from this video. But the one thing, don't let it be disempowering. Again, it's all assumptions. It's all beliefs. We all have different places, different starting points with beliefs. We have different experiences. So if you don't get the instant message, you didn't mess up. There's no messing up happening. There's no such thing as messing up. It's just we are something or we are not something. And that's okay. Again, if you send, if you get into this state and it doesn't happen instantaneously, that's perfectly fine, okay? That doesn't mean anything is wrong. 
because it's all about persisting. Okay, so if you don't get this, and this is the crazy thing. If you don't get the 10 second message right here, right now, um, you will, right? There will be a point in which you cross over into that assumption and that belief that then changes your reality instantaneously because think of this, the power of now concept and it's all of like the, um, the non-duality idea. You only, well, this isn't even a non-duality idea. We're only ever experiencing now, right? Right now is the only ever time you've ever, you've never experienced the past. You've never experienced the future. Everything is right now. And that's what we're talking about. Again, when you have all your manifestations right here and right now, everything you can only experience now. So there will be a point in which you cross over into that belief and then you get this instant manifestation. Okay. Because then you're in that state, then you get exactly what it is that you wanted. And so the, the last quote that I have, um, and it, it showcases how persistence is key and knowing and assuming is key with your, with your manifestation. And this is actually from a book that I've kind of been coming out of a lot. It's called the six pillars of self-esteem. It's on my desk right now, open, chilling right there. Um, because I like, I like to bring some quotes. I feel like they always, even though six pillars of self-esteem doesn't really, it's not really a manifestation book. It talks about self-esteem, which is self-concept, which then is a part of manifestation. So what it states is a person's image of the future is a better predictor of future attainment than his past performances. Let me say that one more time. A person's image of the future is a better predictor of future attainment than his past performances. What have I been saying <laughs> this whole time? Your past doesn't matter. Nothing matters in the past. It's how you see in your imagination. Because this, and again, this isn't like a, a like a psycho, it is a psychology book. It's not like a manifestation book, okay? But think of right there. So, and I don't point to my own writing. A person's image of the future is a better predictor of future attainment than his past performances. What you see in your imagination is the creator of your reality better than anything that has ever happened in the past. And this is something that I tell everyone who's dealing with a problem or they feel like they currently are in a situation with their specific person that they don't necessarily love. Or again, the, it's mainly the past having a really difficult past with their specific person. No matter what happened, how you see yourself and where you go with that, that's what matters. Okay. The imagination is the most important thing when it comes to manifestation. So hopefully you guys love this video. I love to making it. I love just chilling, vibing, talking to you guys. If you did have any questions, comments, ideas, things like that, leave them in the comment section below. Remember, you can also reach out to me on my website at kyleaugustcoaching.com. Also, I'm going to tell you about a manifestation I'm doing with my memberships. So I want to manifest, this is I'm saying this out loud, hold me to this. I want to manifest 10,000 success stories in my memberships. Okay. So the memberships I'm meeting actually, I think I should be able to have this video up in time, but I'm meeting today, 1 PM Eastern time. Yeah, we'll have this video. This video will be up. I'm meeting everyone, all my members, 1 PM Eastern time. So whatever time that is for you today. So whatever time it is, if you're watching this video, this time has not come yet, no matter what your time zone is. And I want to manifest 10,000 specific person success stories in it. So I know that may seem crazy to you, but I, I feel like that is something I could do. So if you want to be one of the 10,000, um, just click the join the member. Cause it's just the members. So it's like super, super close, super fun. You can ask me questions. I'm actually today, I'm going to get everyone's kind of story with their manifestation of their specific person, kind of get their story, their background, things like that. And then I'm going to go into some really, really good ideas that I'm also including in that I include in my weekly coaching. So that's like people who meet up one-on-one -on -one or cause I, I started, you guys know already that the free January group that I have. So if you guys want to be, again, I manifest, I want to manifest 
10,000 success stories. Think about joining. Again, you don't have to because it's like 10 bucks a month. So don't feel like you have to. You can be a part of the 10,000 success stories of my YouTube channel. Okay? There is no difference. But thank you guys so much for stopping by today. And I'll see you later or in the next video tomorrow.